Welcome back to my channel. I am Dave, a first year medical student in the Centro Escolar University. Okay, so for today's video, uh, makikita nyo naman na kayo uniform ko. First, kasi namimiss ko na yung school ko. Siyempre, joke lang yun. Um, second, kasi we will talk about the Centro Escolar University School of Medicine. Alam ko naman sa inyo na marami pang hindi nakakaalam na mayroong medical school ang CEU. CEU is well known for their School of Optometry and School of Dentistry. And bakit may bell? Ano yon? So in this video, we will tackle five different areas. So first, we will tackle the general information, the application process of the School of Medicine, the facilities of the School of Medicine, the subjects and professors that you will encounter as a first-year student. Lastly, my personal experience as a student in the School of Medicine. So let's start! CEU Medicine was established 2016. So technically, wala pa kaming graduates as of this moment. Our population is roughly around 300. So for the year level 1, we're exactly 96 students. Tapos 80 plus students ata or 70 plus students yung second year. And then the third year is 30 plus. And the fourth years or the our clerks is currently 10 students. Siyempre, itatanong nyo rin sa akin, magkano yung tuition fees sa School of Medicine? So for year level 1, it's 120,000 per semester. So may dalawang semester sa isang taon. So a total of 240,000 sa isang taon. So the Doctor of Medicine program is being offered sa Menjola campus nila. So ito yung katapat ng San Beda University. So para sa mga magtatanong dyan, hindi ba laging may rally or welga dyan? So kapag may ganun, tuloy ang klase namin. The NMAT requirement for the School of Medicine is 40. So some of you will also ask, di ba, may discount ba or may scholarship na ino-offer sa School of Medicine? So, merong ino-offer na discount for CEU graduates ng Malolas, Makati, and the Minjola. Uh, meron ino-offer rin sila ng 5% discount. So, may babawasan kayo ng 5%. So, which is roughly okay na din. 6,000? For scholarship grants, merong ino-offer na scholarship grant ang CEU Medicine. Pero, it is being offered sa mga laude. So, mga cum laude, manya cum laude, and suma cum laude. So, ino-offer sila ng 50% discount ata. Yes, 50% discount sa tuition. I'm not sure kung magkakaiba per laude. Pero kasi, yung napagtanungan ko lang, which is yung friend ko, which is a cum laude, um, wala siyang binabayarang tuition, so miscellaneous lang. So, she's paying around 60 to 70,000 per semester. So, for our next section here is the application process. So, the application process, uh, katulad nga nung sinabi ko sa video ko. Okay, so the application process, you will get your online form sa website ng CEU mismo. And then, you will submit sa School of Medicine Dean's Office, which is located sa LAH Extension. For the complete details regarding the application process, I will link my CEU video down below. And I will also link, syempre, yung other CEU-related materials ko sa baba. So, for the facilities, so for the facilities of the School of Medicine, dahil nga masyadong maliit yung population ng student body, for the year level 1, yung facilities namin, so meron kaming dalawang anatomy room, which is yung anatomy laboratory. So, meron kaming four cadavers dun sa isang room and then dalawang cadaver dun sa isa. So, sa so 96 students, mahati kami sa kalahate and then mahati pa yun sa dalawa para think is actually two-fifths uh, two and three-fifths. So, yung three-fifths dun sa mas malaking room and then yung two-fifths dun sa maliit na room. And then, each group or group of ten students will be assigned one cadaver each. So, yun yung rules sa anatomy. So, if you want further details regarding the cadavers or the anatomy part ng aming pag-aaral, I will make a separate video for it. So, just comment down below if you want that. We have a neuroscience, a neuroscience room, and then a biochemistry room. So, doon kami nagla-laboratory ng biochem and then laboratory ng neuroscience. Yung sa neuroscience, ginamit lang namin yun during our first semester kasi yung laboratory namin for neuroscience is just for the first semester. And then second semester kasi ng neuroscience is more on clinicals na. So for the biochemistry lab, ganun din. The batch will be divided into two sections. So I am section B. So magkaiba kami ng schedule lang ng section A kapag Monday and then Friday. And then same kami ng schedule from Tuesday to Thursday. So, magkasama kami sa isang malaking lecture hall. So, our lecture hall, or yung first year classroom, kung tawagin namin, 
is kaya mag-occupy ng 120 students. And then yung second year classroom, which is much smaller, uh, around 80 lang ata or 100 yung kaya ng second year room. And then a smaller room yung sa third year na parang isang classroom lang talaga. Yung normal classroom mo sa college, ganun lang yung kayang i-fit nun. Um, what I've heard is they're doing renovations or they will be doing renovations dahil nga sa COVID, I don't think na natuloy yung renovations na yun. And then we have small SGD rooms din pala. We have small SGD. Pag sabi kasi SGD, small group discussion. So, small, small group discussion. Um, sobrang liit lang nung room na yun para lang siyang isang kwarto. Para siyang room lang sa bahay mo. Ganun lang yung ganun lang siya kaliit. So, yung small SGD room namin, um, we have six small, ay, six ba? Or seven. We have six or seven uh, small SGD room. Meron kaming mas malaking SGD room kapag nagpe-plenary or mas bigger yung SGD namin. Doon namin siya in hold. Oh yeah, yung laboratory pala namin. We also have histology laboratory. So, yung computer laboratory namin, yung tinawag na parang HI lab. So, health informatics laboratory. Um, CEU Medicine kasi wala kaming microscope so yung histology namin and yung pathology ng second year wala kaming microscope so digital microscopy kasi kami so yung mga slides namin naka download siya sa computer may program eh, may program kaming ginagamit and then as in kaya talaga namin siyang i-zoom ng i-zoom ng i-zoom ganun siya kasobrang ka-high-tech pero syempre um Disadvantage pa rin yun kasi, alimbawa ako, uh, nakalimutan ko na kung paano gumamit ng microscope, syempre, di ba? High school pa, and ang tagal ko na nga ng college. So, sa yun sa siguro sa disadvantage sa akin, siguro kapag pupunta na ng hospital na parang ha, paano gumamit ng microscope. Pero, for advantage or the pros ng digital microscopy namin, um, we can really look into the slides and then we can easily shift to slides to slides and then pwede namin mabuksan yung lab manuals namin and then yung slides namin at the same time. So that's it for the facilities ng School of Medicine. Uh, if you will ask din pala saan ang aming base hospital. So ang base hospital ng CEU dahil nga wala kaming hospital. Wala naman kayo nakikita hospital sa Minjola. Our base hospital is the Amang Rodriguez sa Marikina. So, that's our base hospital. So, yung mga kuyas and ates namin doon nag-clerk. And then, meron din ata silang rotation sa, yung sa mental health dito sa Mandaluyo. Pero, what I've heard is, i-expand pa nila yung rotation hospitals. So, sana pag nag-fourth year kami or nag-clerk kami, sana mas marami na yung rotation opportunities na. So, we will talk about our subjects and our professors. So, our subjects are namely anatomy, neurosciences, medicine and society, andragogy, biochemistry, histology, so family and community medicine, physiology, anatomy laboratory, and plus biochem lab. Yun. So yun yung subjects namin. For our professors, syempre dahil bago lang naman yung school and syempre magtataka kayo, sino yung mga professors namin? So our professors are mostly composed of people from UP and PLM. So, talagang academics inclined yung CEU. So, talagang pukpukan. Uh, one of the notable professors namin is si Dr. Gonzalez ng histology namin. So, he was the dean of Lesal Medicine before. Our current dean is Dr. Ratino. So, she's the treasurer of the Philippine Medical Association. So, our professor ng Family and Community Medicine, si Dr. Alip, um, he was the president ata ng Family and Community Medicine sa Philippines. I am not so sure about that, pero he is a president of an organization related to his field. And then, our, one of our administrators is Dr. Carnate and other notable professors such as Dr. De Jesus of Anatomy, she came from um, PLM, she's a graduate of FEU and RMF. Uh, we also have Dr. Estrada who teaches neuroanatomy or neurosciences. Um, we also have Dr. Sami Wong who teaches us anatomy. Uh, so yan, mga PLM sila galing. So for, from UP naman galing. And si Doc Alip. And then for our biochem, it's mainly being handled by 
Dr. Ligo of University of Santo Tomas. Um, other professors that also teaches biochemistry is Dr. Tenkov, PLM. Um, Dr. Guzman of Chinese Gen. Uh, Dr. Halili, the Miss Manila. Dr. Jesmos of Perpetual. Yeah, so the histology, um, we got Dr. Montiel, Dr. Tan, and then Dr. Gonzalez. But all the lectures are being handled by Dr. Gonzalez. But I was kanina, he was a former dean of La Salle Medicine. So for our physiology, so our department head is Dr. Francisco, and our lecturers are Dr. Ferdinand Solidum of PLM. Um, we also have Dr. Luz Velasco. We also have Dr. Pagaduan. So he's an internal medicine doctor. Kasi nakikita ko yun dito niya. Internal medicine yung nakasulat. Ah, okay. So for those yung mga magtatanong, what is andragogy? So in andragogy, we are learning how to be doctors. So it's like adult learning. Ayan. Kasi mayroong pedagogy, which is yung teacher, and then makikinig lang yung students. So, for andragogy, para siyang session lagi. So, mostly, mayroon kami mga group activities. So, more on collaborative effort kasi yung tinitrain ng subject na andragogy. And then, for medicine and society, it's really what the name says. Na it is what medicine in our society is. As of today, so we talk up the history of medicine. Um, ano ba yung current stand ng medicine ngayon sa society natin? Yung before, like folk medicine, um, history ng medicine dito sa Philippines, mga ganong topics. It is for us to be grounded in some sort para alam namin yung papasuhan namin. So yon yun yung subjects namin for the first year and our notable professors. Personal experiences. So, syempre, marami magtatanong sa inyo. Oh, Kuya Dave, um, you're from UST and then why choose CU? I tried to apply for bigger schools. Um, syempre, bago lang kasi yung university. So, parang wala kasi pa rin silang may ibibigay sa amin na assurance na ganito yung standing nila when it comes to board exam. Walang tumanggap sa akin na medical school and CEU accepted me. So, parang sabi ko sa sarili ko, I think CEU saw something in me na hindi ko pa nakikita. And meron ang CEU na may offer na hindi ko pa nakikita. Personally, and to be honest, hindi ko talaga inisip yung CEU na mapasukan ko before. Kasi nga, syempre, wala pa silang name in the game. And relatively new lang sila. Pero, nung pagpasok ko doon, I was surprised to sa caliber ng professors na ino-offer nila. And, the kind of discipline na i-instill nila sa'yo. So, and how supportive the professors are sa inyo. So, maraming times na na umiyak ako sa mga professors. As in, like, legit, ugly cry. Umiyak ako. Um, lalo na, umiyak ako kay Dean, umiyak ako kay Dean, umiyak ako dun sa isang family medicine professor namin, yung professor namin sa research kay Dr. Rabelia Moore. Um, umiyak ako sa anatomy professor namin. Kasi parang ayoko na, parang suko na ako, pagod na ako. Parang gusto kong gusto kong umalis, gusto kong magpahinga. And to find a new school. Pero, Ewan ko, siguro sobrang loving and supportive nila sa akin. That's why I opted to stay for second semester. Kasi talagang wala na sa plano ko mag-second sem. As in, sobrang wala na sa plano ko yung mag-second sem. Tapos, they made me realize na by the end of the day, we are all MDs. Na pag hindi mo tinanong sila doktora, yung mga professors mo, hindi mo malalaman kung saan sila graduate. So, parang by the end of the day, they are all medical doctors. They are there to instill knowledge na nakuha nila years before and naipasa lang sa kanila and then they will pass it on to you. So, yun siguro yung isa kong revelation when it comes to CEU. And sa so sobrang supportive ng mga professors, yes, mabigat yung load ng medicine, pero alam mong nandyan sila para akayin ka, para tulungan ka, and then they will truly support you 
each step of the way and hindi ka nila papabayaan. Yun yung isa sa na-feel ko sa kanila. Like, yun yung personal connection ko sa kanila. Siguro, one thing din kasi, nung in-interview ako ni Dr. Carnate, siya yung vice dean or yung associate dean namin. So, parang, she's asking me why CEU Medicine. So, una lang pumasok sa isip ko is, CEU is well known for its Doctor of Optometry and Doctor of Dentistry program. So, I think the same caliber or the same quality of education will be also applied to the Doctor of Medicine. So, yun yung sinagot ko and yung personal experience ko sa buong first year ko kahit ngayong enhanced community quarantine, nandun sila to truly support you and to really guide you. And hindi ako nag-regret na sinabi ko yun. I think it's more. Kasi the mere fact na they got the best of the best or the well-known professors in each of their fields to teach us future doctors para makatulong sa nakakarami. Yun yung bagay na pinapahalagahan ko. Kasi they really aim for the best para lang maibigay yung best education sa aming students. So, so merong mga maliliit na activities lang being offered by the council and the medsoc and even the school and even the administrators of School of Medicine. Pero the main goal kasi talaga is us to focus on our academics. So that's it for this short video regarding the School of Medicine. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you will consider our School of Medicine for the next academic year or for the future academic years. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and if you have questions regarding School of Medicine and Math or any medical school related questions or video suggestions, don't forget to comment down below and I hope to see you. Bye!